This video is about Friedlander synthesis. Friedlander synthesis is related to quinoline formation. Um, here starting materials are 2 amino benzaldehyde and, and ketone. I am taking here uh, 2 amino benzaldehyde and uh, ketone as ketone I am taking here acetone uh, you can take any of the ketones and its general formula will be like that OR uh, here I am taking uh, CH3 in uh, place of R and uh, this reaction is catalyzed by trifluoroacetic acid, trifluoroacetic acid, toluene sulfonic acid, iodine, or Lewis, any of that Lewis acid. Now, mechanism. Uh, this uh, reaction has two possible mechanisms. Uh, at first, this uh, two amino benzaldehyde reacts with uh, this acetone. And um, in first step, in first step, aldol reaction occurs, aldol condensation occurs like that. Here is 2 amino benzaldehyde. Now, here is acetone, and here is the alpha hydrogen of acetone. This will go to ketoenol tautomerism, and it will form like that. Then this enol form will attack the keto group of 2 amino benzaldehyde. So this carbon and this bond opens and the uh, from here uh, H plus releases and here a O minus forms. This O minus captures this H plus and forms. OH that is and all uh, here is NH2 OH hydrogen here is that carbon or attached to here is the carbonyl carbon here is the keto group and here is the CH2 now in the second step second step uh, imine will form Second step this lone pair of nitrogen attacks to this carbon and carbon, this bond break and here is the compound uh, a H2O molecule released from this place and uh, this N positive uh, hydrogen bond breaks neutralize the N positive charge and then this O negative captures a H plus and form OH and this will form now another H2O molecule releases and here is our quinoline here mm, any of that CH3 group comes to this place comes to two position of quinoline and if we take um, this ketone instead of acetone then here uh, ketoenol tautomerism occurs and 2 enol form will produce one is that and another is this and according to this this 2 enol form reacts with that molecule with that 2 amino benzaldehyde and gives two types of product 
and in this case these uh, ethyl group these ethyl group will comes to two position and in this case here one CH2 group is present there and it will come to this position and another CH3 group will come to this position this was mechanism mechanism 2 mechanism 1 uh, another mechanism is possible for this reaction and that is in mechanism 2 uh, at first imine will form uh, that means at first skiff base will form skiff base in case of skiff base skiff base is a imine skiff base it's an imine but in that particular imine having general formula c double bond n and here are two r groups and here also a r group attached to nitrogen these R should not be hydrogen. These R should be any phenyl group or any alkene group. Any of that group except hydrogen. And then we can call this imine as skiff base. Now in mechanism 2, skiff base will form. This is our 2 amino benzyl dehyde. 2 amino benzyl dehyde. And skiff base will form by reacting with that acetone molecule. This lone pair of nitrogen attached to this carbonyl carbon and at first imine imine we get a imine with hydrogen here are OH here are two CH groups are present this hydrogen will break and this OH will releases as H2O and we get a Amine nitrogen double bond. Here in this amine, a phenyl group, a phenyl group is attached with nitrogen, hence it can be called skiff base. Now, in it was step one of mechanism two. In step two, in step two, and all reaction occurs and this nitrogen double bond CH3 double bond O hydrogen and aldol reaction occur after forming an enamine there is a hydrogen alpha hydrogen present alpha hydrogen with respect to this double bond it will rotate and give us a enamine at first in enamine tautomerism will occur now uh, it is not aldol reaction it is a aldol type reaction this hydrogen will rotate and this double bond rotates and attacks to this carbonyl carbon and this bond rotates and form here OH group will come OH group will come now this hydrogen rotates and H2O molecule releases and ultimately we get our quinoline And this is Friedlander synthesis. Thank you for watching. And if you like that video, if, if this video helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.